Hey everyone, it's me Wendy. Today I'll be giving you ballerina vibes because I'll be showing you how to make a bodysuit. I've been loving having bodysuits in lots of different colors lately and it's because they're so versatile. You can wear them with shorts, with pants, with skirts, and if you match the colors it can look like a whole body outfit instead of two pieces. Mine has sleeves and it has a low back which is the way you get into the bodysuit because if you make the neck hole too small to go in from the top then you're going to have to add snaps on the bottom to go in from the bottom. To make this you just need one yard of medium to heavyweight knit. You don't want to use knit that's too light because then it will show all of your underwear lines and bra lines and it won't look as flattering. But when it's medium to heavyweight it actually has a bit more of a slimming benefit, which is kind of nice. I'm gonna get right into the tutorial, but please do stick around to the end because at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a party that I got to wear this to. It was a party to celebrate reaching 100,000 subscribers on YouTube with my friends. And as part of the party, I threw a like project runway competition and the whole thing was set up so that you, the viewers, would be the ones voting on the winning team. So if you're new here, hit subscribe and I will see you all after the tutorial. As mentioned, we start with one yard of knit material and you're going to want to pay attention to which direction the knit stretch is in. You'll want the stretchy direction to go horizontally across your body. I fold the knit in half once, then fold it in half one more time and that gives me four layers to work with and a line of symmetry. From there, you're going to trace a sweater half an inch around all the way around the neck, the shoulders, the armhole and the sides and then also a pair of underwear or swim bottoms to trace around for the bottom. The top half is all about the sweater. The bottom half is all about the swim bottoms. After that, I open it up only one layer and make a couple of modifications. One is that I bring the neck hole deeper to be the front, and two is that I taper the leg hole to be a bit bigger on the front piece. You'll also need to trace out two sleeves. I do this by folding the fabric in half, laying down a sweater, and following the sleeve all the way around with an extra half inch. When you've done it right, make sure that your sleeve has a bit of an S curve along the top. And finally, to finish off the neck holes and the armholes, you're going to need to create your own bias tape. I do this by folding the fabric over quite a few times so I can make a strip as long as possible and then cutting a one and a half inch wide strip. The first time I cut it I thought it might not be long enough so I transferred it over and cut out two strips in total. When you're cutting the strip make sure that the stretchy direction is the length of the strip. It's time to assemble! The first step is to pin the front and the back of the body together at the shoulders right sides touching and sew them down with a skinny zigzag stitch along those two shoulders. I cleaned up the armhole a little bit to make sure the curve was continuous and then the next step is to lay down the sleeve so that you're pinning it right sides together all along the curve. I like to start at the middle of the sleeve because that helps to make sure that everything is symmetrical. When that's all sewn up, you're going to use a skinny zigzag stitch and sew all along the curve. We can then sew the front and back together along the side, along the sleeves, and also across the bottom where the front and back meet. Here's where I made two modifications on the bodysuit. I narrowed the crotch area because it was a little too wide, and then I realized I needed to throw in that low back, so I cut the low back into the back of the shirt. We're going to go ahead and attach the bias tape. The way this works is I pin the bias tape along the back, middle, right side touching the bodysuit of the fabric and we're going to sew with the zigzag stitch all the way around, but make sure when you're sewing, you're putting a little bit of tension on the bias tape, but letting the fabric of the bodysuit lie normally. Once you come all the way around, you can bring the two little short ends together with a straight stitch, and then sew over the entire thing to seal it off to the bodysuit. After that, flip the bias tape so that it's on the inside of the bodysuit. We're going to sew this in place with a zigzag stitch all the way around. Do this for the neck hole and the leg holes, and they're going to look nice and clean. Finally, for the sleeves, all I did was fold in the fabric about a half inch and sew it down with a zigzag stitch. Here's how the bottoms looked and the neck hole looked when they're all done. I trimmed a bit of the excess fabric just to really finish it off. That is a wrap on how I made the bodysuit. If you like this tutorial, let me know. You can also find more pictures of this and other tutorials on my Instagram. It is at with Wendy. Make sure you've subscribed so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials. Oh, and as promised, I will now take you to the Project Runway competition where you, 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 you get to vote. This is a party I got to host with my friends at the YouTube space in Toronto. It was to celebrate 100,000 subscribers, but this week, 
We just reached 200,000 subscribers, so I'm like kind of behind on the celebration. There was food, drinks, friends, games. Make sure you vote on the Project One Way competition. And if you like this format and want me to do like a meet and greet or something someday with games or activities, just let me know and I will start brainstorming. <laughs>